down at the US 30 drag strip and there's a gentleman down there had a tricycle with an engine on it and he was cruising that thing all around. That thing was cool. Far out! That sounds groovy! I'm gonna build me a tricycle with an engine on it. Fair wall! <laughs> you don't have the skill to build something like that. You can't even fix that bicycle. Huh, good luck. I'm gonna get me something to eat. took the handle off the lawnmower. <sighs> you cut that piece of plywood? Dad was gonna use that for the train set. He's gonna kill you. <sighs> Is that the wheel off Grandma's grocery cart? Yeah. So what? Well, how's she gonna get her groceries now? That's okay. I'll let Grandma drive it when it's done. You're in trouble now. I'm gonna tell Mom. And when I was in fourth grade, I put an engine on a tricycle. Like our little opening skit? Well, that really did happen. That's how it went. And now I'm going to recreate what I did in the fourth grade when I put an engine on a tricycle. Well, I needed a way to mount the engine to the tricycle. And that's why I used the handle from our lawnmower, which I did get in trouble for doing. And what I did is when I got the tricycle, I took the wheels off and these little washers and spacers, because this is basically the same type of tricycle that I use. As you can tell, this is a vintage tricycle here. And I put the axle oops, like this. And then I cut that piece of plywood that was for the train set. Again, got in trouble for that. And now, I'm going to drill some holes and put some bolts in there and bolt this piece of plywood to the handle. See this saber saw that we used in the skid? This is the actual saber saw that I used when I was in fourth grade. This was my father's saber saw. He had a circular saw that matched it, but that, that took a crap some years back. But this baby still works. And this is the actual saw I used. So, what I did was, I got a pulley like this that we had in the garage, and the spokes on this pulley line up with the spokes on the tricycle wheel. And I took some bailing wire and I wired it to the spokes of this. But this hub was a little long. So what I need to do is take this and cut this off with a hacksaw, which is what I did. There's the pulley all mounted to the wheel, just like I did back in fourth grade. That's how I did it.
Now I gotta put a, a pin in there so the wheel don't fall off. So back in the day, probably didn't have counter pins. So I use a nail. And the belt. So we had a belt in the garage for something I don't remember. And then I put the belt on. And this was the exact model engine that I used with that same pinch clutch on there. This was the exact a 5S. This was the same engine that I used. I'm gonna line everything up. And then mark the holes. And we'll bolt the engine down, and the only other thing you gotta do is hook up the throttle. And I had no brake. Oh yeah, I gotta change that front wheel too. Had no brakes when I built this. All right, let me get it lined up and mark the holes. Now I need to make a throttle like I did back in the day. So this is the throttle conduit from the lawnmower that we had, but that metal wire was too stiff. So what I came up with was fishing line. So I ran fishing line through the conduit. Heaviest fishing line we had. So on this engine, the conduit would screw into this flange on the back. Now we just gotta route it up to the handle to the handlebars. So when I did my throttle, I tied one end of the fishing line to the throttle shaft, then I disconnected the governor spring and used that as my return spring and stretched it onto the cover. And this was my throttle. Now, back in the day, this is how you got your pop cans and beer cans, and it had a little pull ring on there. So I took the pull ring off, broke it off of this, and tied it to here. And then I put my little thumb in there, and I had my thumb throttle. But my thumb's a lot bigger now, so I got this one off of a bigger can. And then this is what I did. I tied it to here. And this was my throttle. And I just put my thumb in there. So now I'll tie this off. When I got to this point, of course I had to take it for a test drive because look, it's all ready to go. So I took it for a ride and those pedals, you couldn't put your feet on them pedals because they would just run your legs 100 miles an hour. So we had to pull it back to the garage and take this wheel off. And that's where we got, we, I mean me, that's when I took the wheel off that grocery cart. And then we had a piece of all thread in the garage. Now this is all stuff that I did this one. This was all stuff that was laying around the garage, except for the tricycle and the engine, which I, found the tricycle and I got the engine out of garbage. So put this piece of all thread on and then that's, I cut it down and this is gonna be my foot pegs. This is what we put our feet on. So I'm gonna do this, take this, take this front wheel off now. Well, there it is. That's how I built that when I was in the fourth grade. This is exactly what I did. 
And of course, this was the prototype. There were other ones to come because, you know, of course, things broke on it as we were riding it. But this is how I built this. Now, of course, it's not made for a, a full-size adult like myself to ride on. You know, it's for a nine, nine, ten-year-old kid that's in fourth grade. So I'm probably a little too heavy for it. My only concern is it's going to snap them spokes off, which I think is what it did after a while. We had to get a different wheel. You know what those are? Your feet. You have to put your feet down like Fred Flintstone. Subscribe to this YouTube channel. Terrell fixes all. It's me, Terrell, as a hippie back in the early 70s when I built this thing. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram with your tricycles that you built with engines on them. Follow me. Come on. Go to our web store, buy some Terrell apparel. We don't have any hippie stuff, but we got shirts and hats and stuff. Go check it out. And as always, there's your dinner. Woo! Tries to go to engine on it, built in the early 70s. Woo! Wait, your brother told me what you did. You're in big trouble, mister. <sighs> yeah, Ma, that thing won't even work. I can guarantee that. Just wait till your father gets home. He's going to take a switch to you. The only switch I need is a pill switch. By golly, he did it! Whew. Good luck with that! You can't even fix that bicycle! Ha! <laughs> I'd like to see you build an engine with a tricycle with an engine on it. <laughs> and that thing won't even work for sure, I guarantee that! Just wait till your father gets home! You're gonna be in...